Welcome back. I'm Mark Johnson. We're sitting in the backyard in Brisbane, Australia. It's a beautiful autumn day and I thought it would be a great time to show you some aerial photography I've taken around the world. And it, aerial photography is a great way to see the world that we usually don't get to see. And I've taken photos from helicopters, from airplanes. I've even started to take some photos with uh, quadcopters now that they've outfitted with cameras. And it's a really cool way to see the world. And so I'd just like to show you a few of the photos I've gotten so far and I'll be showing you more in the future. So let's go flying. Thank you. Flying high above the Windward Oahu coastline in Hawaii. That's the H3 freeway, the Ko'ola mountain range with those striking vertical cliffs and Kaneohe town. Then this is Hanama Bay Nature Preserve on Oahu, an old volcanic crater. The seaward side was eroded eons ago and filled up with a coral reef and now one of the top tourism draws. And we have a few shots of Lanakai Beach on Oahu, consistently voted in the top 10 of beaches in the world. It's a beautiful white stretch of sandy beach. And uh, then we see again Lanakai Beach here, that's the Mokulua Islands in the back. You can rent a kayak and paddle out to it if you're ever visiting. You can see the late afternoon sun has cast uh, boat mass shadows and palm tree shadows like this shot here where I'm looking straight down like a bird's eye view of the beautiful uh, shapes of the palm trees in the water. And then uh, this is Kailua Bay which is just to the side of Lanakai Beach but this is where they can go kite surfing and windsurfing legally. Can't really do it at Lanakai, it's kind of small. But that's a beautiful beach as well. This shot was actually taken outside a commercial aircraft window as we were landing at Los Angeles Airport, I put a little uh, tilt shift effect, focus effect to make the cars look like little toys. I'm lucky enough to have a brother-in-law who owns a plane and he flew me around southeast Alaska. This is Mount Edgecombe, a dormant volcano on Krusoff Island. And this is Anahuts Mountain on Baranoff Island. This mountain rises about 7,000 feet straight out of the ocean into that beautiful arrowhead shape. Luckily we got great weather when I was there. This is the Gold Coast of Queensland in Australia, a very well-known resort town. That's the Surfer's Paradise skyline and the broad water in the foreground. And now we move to Mexico. Looking straight down at my friends who were snorkeling around a shipwreck. It, uh, you can see the shape of the boat there. And uh, the same friends here were doing some stand-up paddleboarding at Cabo Pumo, again in Baja in Mexico, uh, another nature preserve. This one uh, has wonderful snorkeling. And then we moved back to Australia for Mount Kunaren, which is in the Glasshouse Mountains in the Sunshine Coast hinterland. Quite a sight rising up from the flat plain. And we are back in Hawaii. This is Kauai. Those are the Kalalea Mountains in the background, and you see the coral reef in the foreground there. It's hard to go anywhere in Hawaii without seeing a beautiful shot. Here we are in Hanalei Bay on Kauai. This is one of the most famous places in Hawaii. That's an old sugarcane loading jetty and the mountains in the background. Again, just stunning. And we'll end up with uh, Waikiki, that's Alawai Boat Harbor. Waikiki and then Diamond Head, the famous crater peak in the background there. Well, thank you for going flying with me. I really appreciate you tagging along and I hope you'll do it again soon. You can click this link to go to the gallery. Aloha.